Hey folks, uh, this uh, lesson is on number sense. It's our first day of our ELM test. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, a theater has 25 rows, each with 12 seats. At a certain performance, there were on average three empty seats. So if there's 12 seats in each row and on average three empty seats, that means that there's going to be on average nine uh, people in each seat. So what was the attendance? That's going to be a 25 times 9 right there, okay? So 25 times 9 is, uh, I know 25 times 10 is 250. So 25 times 9 is 250 minus the 125. So I'm, some of it they let you use a calculator, sometimes they don't. Anyways, choice A right there, okay? All right, so there are 45 people coming to a picnic uh, at which hot dogs will be served. Hot dogs come in packages of eight that cost $2.50 each, and so, so we're going to use this eight right here. So if they come in packages of eight and we're serving 45 people, well, we're going to need six packages right there. Six times eight will be 48. That'll be enough to cover the 45 people right there. And and the hot dog rolls come in packages of 10, okay? And they're two bucks each. So 10, uh, we're going to need five packages of 10 to cover those 45 people. So if enough hot dogs and hot dog rolls will be purchased so that each person can have at least one hot dog in a roll, what's the minimum number that can be spent on the hot dogs, okay? So it's going to be six packages of these guys. It's going to be five packages of these guys so and then we go ahead and multiply those so so six times uh, 250 is 15 bucks and five times the two is 10 bucks so the minimum that they're going to be able to get by with is uh, 25 bucks choice c okay all right so um, uh, the sale price of kathy's new coat was reduced uh, 30 percent from the original price of a hundred dollars so what was the sale price? Okay, so if it's reduced uh, 30%, you guys, then it's going to be 70%. So so 70% of $80 is um, uh, 0.7 times 8. Whoops, I, I missed something there. That should be times 80 right there. Sorry. Um, and then we get 56 bucks right there. Now, if you're doing it other ways, that's terrific, you guys. I'm just showing you one way. Math, there's always several ways, all right? All right, so the sale price of a photography book is 20% off on the list price, so that means it's going to be 80%, okay? So if the sale price of the book is $10, then what is the list price? So 80% of, of what number is $10? Okay, and if you can get it in this form right here, then I tell my students, then make a proportion. A proportion is a fraction equals a fraction. Is over of equals percent over 100. So we put the 80 over 100, and then so is, so here's is uh, $10 right there, and so this must be X, and so uh, go ahead and cross multiply, and you get uh, choice D on that one, okay? So... Uh, whenever you get a proportion, you can cross multiply with. Okay, the operating budget of the Western Robotics Company was $300 million last year. If the operating budget this year is 12% less than last year, that means it's going to be 88%. Uh, what's the year's operating budget? Okay, so 88% of 300 is uh, 264, so we get choice B on that one, okay? All right, so the pilots of an airline signed a new year contract, a new two-year contract, sorry. So for the first year of the new contract, the current salaries will be reduced by uh, 25%. For the second year, it's going to be redu reduced a further uh, 10%. On these kind of problems, you guys, percents is always per 100. So if you always start at 100 and then work with these numbers right here, then your final answer will be in terms of the, your percent. So what's the percent of their current salaries that the pilots earned during the second year of the new contract? Man, that would, that would suck to get a uh, percent decrease. All right, so start with 100. So reducing it by 25% takes us to 75. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And then 10% of 75 is 7.5. So when I take 7.5 off of 75, we get 67.5 okay choice C okay just start at 100 on these percent problems okay that's the that's the trick right there which of the following numbers is between 3.74 and and uh, 3 and 4 fifths okay 4 fifths is the same as uh, 0.8 right there whoops I didn't catch that right there all right so anyway so 0 0.8 so 3.74 and 0.8 uh, which one's that going to get us? That's going to get us, um, that's 3.5. There's 3.75, so it's going to be choice E right there. Sorry, this is 3.9. 
3.72, 3.82, that's over. This is 3.5, 3.75, so it's going to be choice E. Sorry, I didn't catch that right there. All right, so uh, in which of the following are the four decimals listed above in order from greatest to least? I like to list these guys vertically so I can just line up the decimals right here. Okay, so this is the biggest number. And then once we got the biggest number, move over. This is the next biggest number, okay? And so, um, and then so just keep going. This is going to be the next, uh, 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 the biggest number is going to be the um, uh, this guy right here, and then finally the smallest number. So if you, you list them in order, then you can uh, put those decimals right there. So choice B, okay? All right. So in the figure above, a right circular cil cylinder vessel has exactly uh, one quarter full. Okay, so one fourth full. Uh, if seven liters of liquid are added, the vessel will be exactly three fifths full. So what's the total capacity? So I let X be the total capacity right there. Okay, so right here, this is one fourth of X. So one fourth of X, when we add those seven liters, is going to give us three fifths of X. And then over here, I multiplied everything by uh, the common denominator between five and four. Because you guys get all freaked out on the fraction, so get rid of them. Multiply the equation, the whole equation, everything by the common denominator 20. 4 goes into 5, uh, or 4 goes into 25 times, 5x. Nothing cancels there. 5 goes into 24 times, 4 times 3 is 12x. And then we subtract 5x from both sides, we get 7x. x equals 20 right there, okay? All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Marshall is making cornbread. His recipe calls for three and a half cups of cornbread. Okay, so, but he wants uh, to make only half the amount uh, given in the recipe. So how many cups? So we're going to divide this by two. Okay, so dividing by two is the same as multiplying by a half. Remember, we keep, we change this to a multiply and we flip. Keep, change, flip. Okay, so um, uh, 7 times 1 is 7, 2 times 2 is 4, 7 fourths is 1, and 3 fourths, choice C, okay? All right, the number of atoms of or platinum, sorry, PT, in the universe is estimated, estimated to be 1.4 times the number of atoms of silicone, okay? So I'm going to go uh, PT equals 1.4 uh, SI. Okay, the number of atoms of silver, AG, is the in the universe is estimated to be 0.33 times the number of atoms of silicone. So I'm going to say AG equals 0.33 SI. Okay, so based on the estimate, the number of atoms of, um, of uh, this um, PT uh, is approximately how many atoms of the silver right there. Okay, so let me show you what I did right there. So here's PT equals the 1.4 SI and AG equals 3.4 SI. So we want to know the uh, the relationship with PT and AG right there, okay? So what I did was is I, I took this equation and I divided both sides by 0.33 right there. So, so SI is AG over 0.33. So we substitute that in right there. Okay, AG over 0.33. So 1.4 times point or divided by, sorry, divided by 0.33 gives me 4.32. Okay, so that gives us uh, choice E. Okay, I, I have to admit I kind of stumbled on that when I first saw that. I had to come back to it. So anyways, they, they don't come, you know, right off the, I just don't think of this right off the bat. So um, uh, they get to be a struggle. We'll try one more and then I'll stop it after this. Okay. And then do the part two. All right, so a certain medicine is pres uh, prescribed in the amount proportional to a patient's body weight. Okay, so this is where we do a proportion. A proportion is a fraction equals a fraction. And we can cross multiply. So 70 kilograms over 210 millimeters, or milligrams, sorry, in the amount of um, uh, uh, 80 kilograms with uh, X millimeters. So, so as long as you put the you're on your consistent kilo uh, uh, kilograms are on top and on top right there, and then milligrams are on bottom and on bottom, and then go ahead and cross multiply and you get choice C on that. All right, I'm going to stop here. I'll do I'll pick up with number 13 next. Okay, take care.